Stay playful. Don't lose touch with your sense of curiosity. Continue to be inquisitive. Remember to remain childlike in nature. Spend time just playing out in nature. Reminisce on what it was like to be young. That energy, that enthusiasm, how everything was so much fun. Always try and stay connected to that. Be excitable. Be easily entertained. Get hyped, not just every now and then, but all of the time. Just simply on life. Remember how amazing it is just to be alive. How magical and miraculous each moment really is. How magnificent and mystical this world really is. Take the time to soak up stunning sunrises and wallow in the wonder of spectacular sunsets. Go out into a storm and marvel at the mighty display of lightning bolts electrifying the entire night sky. And remember, that it's okay it's to okay cry. To cry. It's, okay. it's all just a ride. Everything's an important part of the design, tears included. So don't hide. So don't hide. Swim naked in the sea, just to feel free. Don't get too serious about that whole, you know, me. None of that's as important as you think it is. See. Don't be scared of judgment. It prevents you from being authentic, from expressing who you truly are. But that's a good question. Who are you, really? If you're still not too sure on that, do you remember to take the time out to find out who you really are? Look beneath the surface. Dive into the depths. Know thyself. Then when you know that you know, be utterly and unashamedly you, you, you. And remember, you can always take the time out to remake you. You can use your own mind to reshape you into a great you. It's never too late to make a breakthrough. It's never too late to change you. Your whole life can transform in a day. A sudden twitch and a switch flips and bows. You're headed in a completely different way. Take the time to really listen to what others have to say. Seek to understand before being understood. Instead of judging the bad in people, try looking for the good. Beneath the hood, there's always compassion an innate desire to just love and to be loved an inner child that just wants a hug it's within all of us that's why children are so affectionate they don't hold back from letting their love show no matter who's watching because as children we've not yet developed a fear of expressing our love openly we exist in this state of pure innocence so we just let it flow freely just to be around that energy of unconditional love is so healing. So stay safe, stay safe. Remember to have fun in life. To enjoy it. To find the ways of putting the joy into it. Sing when you wash the dishes. Notice the miracle of running water and its soft caress on your skin. Allow yourself to feel deep gratitude from within for even the smallest or silliest of things. Wonder frequently just how mind-bogglingly rich and complex the sliver in infinity that we call life really is. Laugh at the ingenious and incomprehensible intelligence of it. Reconnect to the student within you, to the young soul that was ever thirsty for knowledge. Always eager to better understand how the world around you works. The more you learn, the more you can earn. 
Don't let other people's progress become your main concern. Just focus on the path ahead of you and which way you should turn. Never stop exploring. Boring to stay in one place forever. You'll go stale, stagnate, freeze up, your knees will seize up, go cold and before your time, you'll begin to grow old. That little child within you. Hold it, hold it, nurture it, play with it, spend more time with it. Take it out on adventures and show it the world. Don't let it miss out on all the magic. Make sure the miraculous doesn't become the mundane. If you're feeling bored or tired of life, then just jump on a plane, or a train, or a bus, or maybe a jet, or a truck, I'm not fussed. Just get up and move to wherever you choose. It's really not important where there's no way that you can lose. Just get back to your innocence and take a leap of faith.